first occurred to me in my last year at McGill, I realized that there was no food criticism in the McGill Tribune. So I went to the editor of the McGill Tribune and asked if I could do some restaurant reviews for them to talk to other kids and you know teach people about what else is going on in Montreal that we as students might not know about. I hung out at Gertz a lot and ate a lot of chicken wings and then of course a lot of poutine. My third year at McGill I went abroad for a semester, I studied in Spain and that was one of the places that really inspired me to learn more about food and cooking and when I came back my final year here I really started cooking for myself. That was the first time I spent time at the Outwater Market or the Jean Talon Market um, and of course I really started exploring restaurants beyond the borders of the ghetto where I had spent so much time before. I did a degree in humanistic studies, so my concentration was in anthropology and Spanish language. And now that I live in New York and I work in the world of restaurants, I speak Spanish almost every single day in some way, shape, or form because it's really the language of a kitchen in America. When you think about food, what is food but a window into a culture, into its history and its traditions, its rituals, and um, how it came to be where it is, and, and how its people gather around the table together says, says so much about who they are. So I really think that I learned all of that when I studied anthropology at McGill and now I look at food as sort of an anthropological vehicle to learn about other cultures. I wanted to, to give people you know, hope and, and inspiration for finding a job that they love to do because I feel so lucky that I was able to find a job that was so unique and really make it my own.